me to talk about Tyson Leslie. Tyson Leslie. Tyson. Tyson. The one and only Tyson Leslie with the sexy long hair. He's a legend here in Kansas City. I call him the long hair sucker. Tyson is play anything. Mm -hmm. Completely stellar musician. He's just versatile. I mean, the guy can, he can play anything. Literally after hearing it, he will find a way to either play it right or fake it. Can play guitar, bass, keyboards, mess around and play drums, background vocals, lead vocals. He can shake a tambourine. Best musician I've ever worked with. And puts together some of the most amazing shows ever. He's an amazing person and an amazing musician. Good Midwestern values. Tyson's one of the most giving people ever. If you're in a jam, he will help you out. If he can't help you out, he will figure out a way to get you out of your jam. Very encouraging, very positive, will keep you on the straight and narrow. He is a, he's a, he's an extraordinarily kind human being. He's somebody you just always are going to want on your team. Here we go. We're here. Welcome. It's uh, Monday. Happy Monday night. Coming to you all the way from Nashville. Hopefully everything sounds all right.
Everybody, happy Monday night! I'm doing a show through the Quarantine Keys friends of ours, so uh, give them some love and thank you very much to uh, to everybody in the Quarantine Keys team for having me once again. Uh, I'm trying some different angles, some different things. Uh, let me try something else. I, I feel like I'm really far away from you guys. That's better. Hi, everybody. Uh, now you're not just looking at my back, but you can look at my. Profile. <laughs> you can see my big ass nose, nice and close and everything. So, anyway, uh, started off with a little puddle of mud. Puddle of mud is from my hometown, Kansas City, my original hometown. And uh, to answer your question, Laura, uh, last I checked, I saw a couple of guys. Um, I was playing at the whiskey last year in Los Angeles, California. I think it was last year. Feels like it was last year. And uh, the bass player, the current bass player for a Puddle of Mud, actually came and helped us out, and because uh, we were having some e- gear issues, and he told me that, that he and and Wes are co-sponsoring each other, and he's been Wes has been clean for a while, and he's doing really well, and um, that they're working on new music. So hopefully, some new music from Puddle of Mud will come along uh, before long. So anyway, hi everybody, uh, Julie. Hey, John Lee try to say hi to everybody real quick while I'm here. Todd Baldwin's in the house. Great piano player. Another dueler piano, piano player. <clears throat> Linda Brake, what's happening? Brian, Chad, April, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Lisa, nice to see you. Amber. Amber Gardner. Another good uh, dueling piano player. I'm coming from the Howl at the Moon world of, of life. And I think, I'm not sure if she's still here in Nashville or she's in... Uh, Back in Colorado at the moment. Hi, Katie. Hey, Ken, uh, Kenny. Hey, Vera. What's happening? It's good to see everybody. Jimmy from the band Kicks is here. Hi, buddy. Thanks for joining once again. Melissa? Yeah, Wes definitely was having some problems for sure, but uh, hopefully he's doing a lot better. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm definitely open to your requests. I'm just kind of playing whatever tonight, so... <laughs> I got my uh, my little sexy Hammond going on tonight. Hey, Derek. Yes, I'm going to go out by myself. And I think of all the things What you do doing in my head When I paint a picture If you come on home Well, my heart is a mess I miss you, change your hair And the way you like to dress Why don't you come on Stop making a fool out of me Why don't you come on home Oh, <laughs> 
this one i see some some foreigner uh foreigner request so as long as i can spell the name of the man we should be good to go <laughs> nate leonard's in the house hi justin johnny kevin hi amy amy's here all right well we're, we're we got a we got a party going on <laughs> it's nice to see everybody thank you for being here uh Let's see. What key do I want to do this song in? And what sound do I want to use? How's everything sound? Does everything sound okay on your end? Everything balanced and sexy and fabulous? Ooh, Laura. I like that. That sounds like a great. I've never. I don't know if I've tried that. Like, I think I should try that one for sure. I got to do some foreigner for who's this for? For Katie first, and then, and then we'll, and then I'll, I'll try that. Uh, that one that Laura asked for. That sounds fun. Oh, maybe here. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good key to me. Travel 
I'm excited about this song. I've never tried this one, so if it goes shitty, it's, I mean, I don't know if I can say bad. I guess it's too early. It's not the late show. Can't say bad words. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's try this. This could be really cool or it could be really terrible. That's the fun part about all request shows, though, y'all. It's like sometimes I get stuff and I'm just like, what? I don't know this song, but I'm going to try it anyway. And this is one of those songs. So. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to turn my heater off, though. I'm sound, like suddenly sweating. Now that, now that showtime, it's all like, ooh, pressure's on. And my microphone feels really far away. Cool song. Hey John, thank you. Hey Keeper, what's up? Jane, 
Christy's here. Tom's here. Right on. Thank you, Tom, for hanging out. Sean Pores is in the house from the Zeros back in Kansas City. Uh-oh. John Lee, you're having a baby? I didn't know that. Or your wife is having a baby. <laughs> if you had a baby, that would be really weird. All right. Uh, I got some water after that one, man. That was a that was cool. Thanks for asking for that. Um Try not to wear myself out. Ed's here. What's up, Ed? Oh, that song got a heart with it, so shit, I guess I better do it. Oops. Shit, I forgot how to play that. Come sail away, come 
sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. go thank you very much maddie monks in the house what's up hi Brittany. andrew uh thank you very much emily thank you so much uh and thank you katie uh, you're awesome and sticks yeah that was that was your request awesome okay making sure that i'm not missing anything my quarantine keys friends in denver colorado are making sure that i don't miss any requests tonight as opposed to the last night where i was like missed all kinds of stuff so we should be all good to go and all that. Too, so. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer Lane. You're awesome. Troy's in the house. Hi, buddy. How are you? Uh, all right. Troy has quite the eclectic taste in music, and uh, as do I. So it's always interesting to hear. Whoa, that was weird. What, uh, what kind of ideas he has. Ah, Curtis is in the house. That's my buddy Curtis. Curtis and I played in many bands together. Uh, Disco Dick and the Mirror Balls. The Baloney Ponies. Everything was phallic in some way. We were in a band called the Johnsons together because that's just, that's just how it is. That's what we do. Thanks, Floyd. I didn't know you were here. What's happening, buddy? Okay, so Alice Cooper... Um, what else? Did I see? I saw something quite a bit earlier that I think I forgot. So let me make sure I don't uh, forget stuff. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, lots of things to scroll through and try to remember who asked for what. So, but. <laughs> All right, uh, Ed, give me a second. I will do Alice Cooper for you. I promise. All right. Because uh, I love Alice Cooper. I'm excited. Hopefully all this stuff will be over by the time the Monsters of Rock cruise comes around. Because Curtis and I have some cruising to do. And Alice Cooper is going to be on the on the boat. Okay. So Nirvana, Boston, Bowie. Perfect. Yeah. I can do all that. Great. Perfect. Um, before I do that, though, I feel like I just feel like doing this song. It was in my queue of stuff that I really wanted to do. And I, I watched this in, uh, interview with this guy. And if you guys ever watched the Rick Beato series, the What Makes This Song Great, it's one of the coolest series on YouTube. And you can learn so much about music just by listening to it. This requires me to play way down in the lower keys, so... Get excited, here we go.
Some queens in the Stone Age. Just because I felt like it. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Hi, Dan. How are you? Ooh. Oh, Steve's going to bed early. That's really early for you, Steve. That's crazy. All right. Well, good night. <laughs> hey, Matt. Matthew Blackman's in the house. Okay. What did I miss that I forgot to do already? I got to do some Nirvana and some Queen. And All right. All the quarantine key folks, keep, keep me apprised of what's coming in so I don't forget stuff because I will forget, especially as fast as you guys are scrolling on through here. So, um, yeah. Uh, Tom, that was Queens of the Stone Age is what that was. Okay, I'm just gonna go backwards. This one's funny. I like your uh, I like your Doors choice there, Deanne. I, I like it. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? If you really want to dig deep and listen to the original version of uh, the Alabama song, it's it's a lot. It's really actually kind of similar to the Doors version, but it's way like you know old school super old school turntables like Victrola kind of sounding stuff. So anyway. Nick Marshall's in the house. Well, well show, show me the way, way to the next whiskey bar. Jenny, thanks for joining. It's good to see you, Taylor. Uh, haven't seen you in a while, so you're back. It's good to see you. Okay, let's see what else. I gotta do some Alice Cooper for Ed. What Alice Cooper can I do for Ed? Because Ed, 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 if you guys don't know Ed, Ed, you will find it many, many, when concerts are happening, Ed as is at concerts all across the United States. And 
and he's a, a very loyal friend and uh, uh, he's also a, a, a great fan to have if you're like an artist or whatever. So. Ah, <laughs> Troy. Yeah, I could probably do that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be good, any very good, but I could try it. So. Oh man. Hmm. There's so many choices, y'all. I think I. I don't know if I did. If you were around Ed when I did this on the, uh, like a week or two ago. So let's try this one. <laughs> Brandon Gibbs in the house, y'all. Man got his woman. He take his seat. He got, he got the power. power. He's got it. Spend the night through. Big up of me. Feeds and then Don't come home at all Only when you leave Only when you leave Only when you leave Only when you leave Man makes your hair gray He's your life's mistake All you will really looking for Is a new break You know you hate this game Slaps you once in a while And you live your life in pain She cried alone and not too often Smokes and drinks and don't come home at all Only will we leave Only will we leave Only will we leave Cooper for Ed. Great song. Kind of a sad song, but a great song nonetheless. There you go. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's good to see so many of you. Zach Mufasa is in the house. What's up, buddy? All right. Let's see. What do we got? Alice Cooper, another piano bar first for Alice Cooper. Yeah, man. That, that's, that's the name of the game. So whatever you guys ask for, I don't. I try, you know, I play the most overplayed BS songs like night after night after night of, of my life. And so in this particular situation, I can do really pretty much whatever I want uh, to a certain degree. But, I mean, if you guys request stuff and you pay for stuff, I'm absolutely going to play that stuff if I know it. However, if you ask for just an artist, I'm going to pick something that I love by that artist that may not that either you may not have heard before or you 
haven't heard it in a long time, and you'd be like, oh, man, I haven't heard this song in a long time, because I, I like going for that. Uh, Nick Marshall, to answer your question, I don't know that song very well at all, buddy. I love that song. I just don't know it in a way that I'm going to do a great job of it. So um, let's see. Also, to the Quarantine Keys folks, if there's something that I missed or I haven't done yet, I got to do some Nirvana. I remember that was on the list. So let's do some Nirvana. Uh, let's do one that's interesting. Let's do one again. Let's try to get into the uh, uh, the catalog of stuff that people don't do all the time. So I don't I don't want to play "Smells Like Teen Spirit" unless you really really want to hear that song. <laughs> so. Okay, Terry, I got you on that one. Hey, Jeremy, what's happening? Mm hmm. So many choices here. Let's do this one. This one's a cool song. And it'll sound good on piano since it's me and Nirvana. No. This is the um. This song was on two records of Nirvana's. It was on the Bleach record, I think. And then it was on the Unplugged record too. until I run out of requests. Yeah, <laughs> Nick said that solo. It's exactly what Kurt played, all the notes. It was like Ingve stepped in in Nirvana for like five seconds, and then, uh, yeah, 45 minutes. Oh, okay. I didn't know I was on a time loop thing. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's see. Oh, Polly. Yeah, Polly would have been a good one. I, uh, I might come back and do that one here in a minute. That was, I love that song. Uh, it's their Nirvana Beatles. <laughs> totally. All right. See you, Troy. He's probably already way gone anyway. Cool. 
Um, what else? Anything else that I missed? Trickster. One in a million. One in, I don't know. I can't. I don't think I could pull a Trickster off very well. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. I like. I try to keep a clean interface. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna go on down my list here and keep playing stuff until I see more requests come through that I may have missed or whatever. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Where did, where did... Okay, I'm gonna totally change it up here and do something. I did this song a few days ago because it was re re requested and I really enjoyed playing it. So I hope you guys can bear with me and I'm going to do it again, and hopefully you like it. that song is so cool. Pat Willem's in the house. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you. All right. Oh, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> what did you... Uh, oh, man. 
Taylor, I don't know if I know that one, buddy. Pearl Jam for Nick Marshall. All right, here we go. Strap in. It's about to get heavy. <laughs>
Thank you. Hi, Ryan Bear. Todd Owens in the house. What's that? All right, let's see what else did I miss. Um, yep, Everly Brothers did do that one in 1961. You know who else did that song? Uh, Roy Orbison did a version of Love Hurts. It's pretty good. And, ooh, Ed, I don't know about that one there, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would do a very good job of any of that. So, uh, hi, Amber. How are you? Let's see. Thank you, Tom, for my <laughs> shit. Troy, come on, man. I don't know if I could do that one. That dude has a weird voice. An inter a great voice, but a weird voice nonetheless. Um, okay. Keep going, though. Because, you know, I'm bound to know something in this. All the stuff that you guys are bringing. I haven't done any country music yet. I am in Nashville after all. I love this song. I grew up, I, and I, this video was on MTV a lot. It was on the radio a lot, and it's just, just a great song. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. It's nice to see everybody here. This one's a little different because I'm seeing a lot of folks that I know already. So, uh, so if I don't know you, sound off, say something, make a comment, say hello. 
so I can meet you. Because uh, a lot of my friends are in the house, which is very cool. And I'm happy to see y'all. Um, all right. Shit, dude, really? That's an interesting Beatles request, y'all. <laughs> I know a ton of Beatles, but that one is not one that I do know. Now, if my my partner Jeff Smith was here, he's a guy that I play with in, at the Big Bang. He uh, he would know every one of them. He, he knows it. literally, like not even exaggerating at all, every single Beatles song, pretty much ever that exists, he can do and does, and he does very well. So um, let me do a handful of Beatles songs though, to uh, kind of I don't know suffice the lack of Beatles knowledge on that one, okay? Whew. Let's see, which, what can we do? Let's start with this one, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Let's just say it, Try seeing my way Do I have to keep on rocking the line? Monica, she's doing an all Beatles uh, tribute show streaming next week, I believe. I don't have a date or time, but if, if you guys from Nashville know Monica Llewellyn, um, well, thank you, Jim, Ginger. I'll make sure you tune in for that show because I'm excited. songs man I love playing this song though and so I'm just gonna play it and then if you don't like it well it'll be over soon with you. 
and demanding of views When your lights are gone You can need to sweat by the fireside Run them mornings, go for a ride Doing the garden and digging the weeds Who could ask for more? Who used to need me? Who used to feed me? When I'm 64 Every summer we could find the cut, 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 cut right. If it's not too dear We shall scream Digging the Beatles? Are we good with that? I don't want to like, you know. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out. She was a day tripper, one way ticket down. Interesting one there. Do I know that song? Is the question. I'm 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 loving all your suggestions and requests and ideas. You guys have a good taste in music. Sounding terrible. I definitely don't want to do a bad job of that sound. What was the other one on that? that you had? Oh, good one, Troy. I like it. Okay, let's do that one. I'll do a way better so job on that one. Um, sorry, I'm talking to nobody right now. Just thinking out loud. This is a great, great song. <laughs>
Look at our life now It's tighter than told With us and we're fighting Delight and tears And we're crying till the Whoa, whoa, whoa Hold me now Warm my heart Stay with me Let me Living up in the sky You say I'm a dreamer With two super kind Both of us searching for somewhere The world we know we'll never find So perhaps I should leave here And run far away something first of all thanks for those of you who ha have tipped thank you so much um a lot of you guys you know uh, everybody's hurting and kind of out of work and stuff like that i'm definitely this for musicians and people like us this is our sole means of inco income right now um you know i did sign up to to do like i don't know for lack of better terms like a a, drob a driving job a real job or whatever and uh, and if it comes to that, you know, that's what I'll have to do as well. But, and I don't want anybody to feel pressured or obligated to tip or anything like that. But for those of you who can, great. Thank you very much. For those of you who cannot, then the best thing you can do for, for us and for any of these live streams and stuff like that is share it on your pages. Um, and then just like go to my Facebook page, uh, my Tyson Leslie music page. Uh, which is different than my personal page. Give it a like and share that stuff around. The best thing is uh, that, you know. So, just getting the word out because one of the things that's weird about our job is it, so much of it has to do with like, look at me and self-promotion and, hey guys, look what I can do. And <laughs> it, it, that's kind of the shitty part of it sometimes is having to do things that, Otherwise, you wouldn't really do. It's funny, because a lot of us are we're, we're we're actually pretty quiet, chill individuals on in our own on our own terms. But then you get out there into the world, and you're playing piano, and you're performing, and you put on a different face, you put on a different uh, attitude, and all that kind of stuff. And and then you get back home, and then you're just like, whoa. 
<laughs> You're tired, so. Hi, Airby. Some fun.
crawl. He's always at home with his back to the wall. He's pattern with scars and the battles he lost. He struggles and bleeds and he hangs on the cross. And he likes to be known as the angry young man. Give a moment or two for the angry young man With his foot in his mouth and his head in the sand He's standing in the back, he's been misunderstood There's comfort to know his intentions are good He sits in the room with his lock on the door With nothing that matters and laid on the floor And he likes to be known as the angry young man In righteous rage, now now surviving is just noble fight. What's believed in causes too, and my pointless point of view when life went on, no matter who's wrong or right. Oh, there's always a space for the angry young man, he's in the air and his head in the sand. He's never been able to learn from mistakes. Can't understand why his heart always breaks His honor is pure and his courage is hell His friend is true and he's boring as hell And he goes to the grave as an angry old man Man, he refuses to crawl. He's always at home with his back to the wall. He's got on the scars and his battles is lost. He struggles and bleeds and he hangs on the cross. And he likes to be known as the angry young man. Played on the radio or anything like that, really. Let's go back to the 80s. What do you say? Well, two.
on the piano that I haven't done already. Are you a big Kiss fan or are you just like a Fairweather Kiss fan? <laughs> Let's do this one. This could be funny and fun. One of the coolest Kiss bass lines ever goes like this.
something, John knows something. You show me anything, never show me a school. John knows something, John knows something. No one can make me feel the way that you do. John knows something, John knows something. The Dynasty album, Disco Kiss. That's right. <laughs> that, is, that is a thing. Um, all right. How are we doing on time? I feel like I'm not sure. I'm really bad at keeping up on that stuff. Where'd my drink go? Maybe I finished it already. I know I had one. I showed up. <laughs> but maybe I lost it. I don't want to keep the quarantine keys people up too awful late either. But then again, they're also usually up until like 3 or 4 in the morning anyway. So you guys just let me know. But, you know, as long as you guys are still hanging out and requesting stuff. Ooh, Tom, you know what's funny about Frankenstein? I almost, I almost put something together to do that song tonight. <laughs> Imagining Tim Bali solo going on at the same time. Damn it, I don't have my drums plugged in. Shit. <laughs> Two, three, Frankenstein with no other instruments. That was really stupid, but fun. <laughs> Edgar Winter. It's weird. I'll, I'll tell you a little story. Last year, um, around this, well, 
maybe a little bit later than, in the, than now, I received a call on my phone from Edgar Winter, or not from Edgar Winter, from, uh, 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 not Edgar Winter, uh, from Rick Derringer. We played guitar on all that Edgar Winter group stuff. And we, uh, well, I almost had a gig with him, but my schedule with Vixen and his schedule was just a little bit too busy, and it just did not work out, so, unfortunately. But damn it, that would have been cool, like playing with the you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and whatever. But it was not meant to be in this particular case. You know what? So I've been watching the Quarantine Keys stuff all day, and we know we're called Quarantine Keys, but there were no, like, all the dudes were playing guitar. So I was, like, feeling a little left out. I was like, man, I, I want to play guitar, you guys. It's not, not cool. But uh, so I might play some guitar here in just a minute just to get that out of my system. But can I play? Let's do this one. I've got my invisible band. My invisible band is located within this little, uh, whatever this stupid thing's called, the iPad, uh, iPod, uh, something or other. So I'm going to try this song, and hopefully it doesn't suck. And hopefully the mix is good and all that stuff. And you guys tell me with your applause and your, you know, you can do these little heart things and the, and the happy faces and the mad faces and all that stuff. I'm doing it right now just because it's fun. So when you're digging it, just hit it. If you think it sucks, then give me sad faces. <laughs> That's how we're going to get around that. All right. I hope you guys like 80s music, and I hope you like the band Toto, because that's what we're about to do. All right. 
There you go. There you go. There you go. We made it. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, is that it? Are we done? <laughs> see, what did 10, 11, 11, 12, 12? Shit, I guess I did go. Did I go too long? I don't know. Sorry. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> let's do, uh, let's, can we do one more? Then we'll be done. Does that sound good? Let's just change it up and do something completely balls out off the wall. Doesn't make any sense to do whatsoever right now, but I just feel like doing it, okay? I'm going to switch my spots. I'm going to pull out my guitar so I can do something that's not keyboard oriented. And uh, once again, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And uh, thanks to the, all my friends in the Quarantine Keys world for having me again. I'm, I, I think I'm on here again. Uh, is it? I don't even remember. There's so many things to try to keep track of now. Uh, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm back here Saturday at 11 p.m. Central Time. And then next Monday at uh, 10 o'clock, same time as right now. So <laughs> I'm not playing Raffi. I'm pretty much doing the absolute opposite of that next. <laughs> and uh, it'll be fun. And then I got to kind of save my voice because I got another show in a couple of days. <laughs> and I don't want to completely destroy myself. But thank you guys once again. You're awesome. And for tuning in. And hopefully you like this last song. It's completely stupid and completely fun. <laughs> Check, check. Can you guys hear me over here? Are you ready for this? This is going to be really silly. Switching. Ugh. Got my guitar ready to go. I found my drink! Yay! All right, let me make sure this thing's in tune, because uh, otherwise that would be bad. Are you guys ready to rock out a little bit? I'm definitely ready to rock out. I've been like pianoing for too long. I'm gonna need to play some guitar. And I need to sing something a little bit heavier than what we've been doing all night. So, um, I don't know. I figure if you're going to go out, go out with a bang, right? Rock it out, make it heavy, have some fun. <laughs> Let's do it! If you like to gamble, I'll tell you I'm your man You win some, lose some, it's all the same to me Maybe you hit the play, make no difference what you say I don't tell you clean, the only thing I need The ace of spades, the ace of spades I'm the right one, dancing with the devil Going the flow, it's all a pain to me
7-Eleven, snake eyes watching you Cover up a quick, never do a step He raised his face, he raised his face No, I like to lose, the camel is for fools But that's the way I like it, baby, I don't wanna live forever And don't forget the child Hooding up the alley, you really wanna see me? Read on the weed, the dead man's hand again. See it in your eyes, take one look and die. The only thing I need, the only thing I need. We ace the stage, we ace the stage There it is. Thank you guys so much. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time. And... We'll see you next time. All right. Good night, everybody. Well, shit. I guess we're doing one more for Alan, because Alan's still here. <laughs> um, if you like the song I was playing, that was one of my original songs. And you can get it on the CD. Um, you can get it, well, you can also buy it on, like, you know, get it on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. So if you like that stuff, actually, for artists and people like me, songwriters and whatever, the best thing you could do is support um, our own music, you know. Go, go to start streaming it on Spotify or... Apple Music or any of those platforms that all that stuff, Amazon, it's, it's everywhere. Um, I've got one record, one full-length record out that I put out in 2012. And then I've got a Christmas song I put out a couple of years ago. And then I put out another one, well, about two years ago called uh, Cradle of the Grave, which is a great song. Uh, a lot of fun. All right. So let's, let's change it up here yet again. <laughs> and let's do this one.
next time. Good night, everybody. Hi, Alan. Nice to meet you as well.
the thing. 